In this video, I'm gonna explain what you should know everything about digital multimeters. Let's start the video. What is DMM or digital multimeter? A digital multimeter is an electronic device used to measure different electrical properties, including voltage, current and resistance. The device display measurements on a dig digital screen, making it easy to read and understand the results. As you can see, here I have a different multimeters. So what is the difference between the bigger one and the smaller one, which are portable and this one are bigger in size. They have a different functions for measurement. Okay. One of my most used digital multimeters is this. It's a Fluke 17B plus model. And let me explain the functions. Almost every digital multimeter have a measurement for AC voltage or DC voltage, millivoltage for AC and DC. You can measure resistance. You can check diodes. You can check uh, capacitors, you can measure the hertz of the, of the voltage. Some of the multimeters have to measure a temperature. And also most used function is measurement for current. Here we have three position in amperes, milliampers and microampers. Every multimeter have testing probes, one is positive and one is negative probe for measurement the voltage or resistance and if you want to check first the voltage you need to set the on voltage and the probe need to be set like this and if you want to measure the current you need to move this positive probe to the amperes just be careful all right. Now I'm gonna show you simple testing of this nine volt battery. You need to se select on voltage and manually uh, select AC or DC voltage. This one have auto select. and it shows that have 8.7 volts. Also, and the smaller or the mini DMM can measure voltage, resistance, check diodes, continuity, and so on. This is on 250 volts maximum. You can choose 200 maximum or 20 volts maximum. 8.7 volts. That is great. So, what is the difference between these two big digital multimeters and the smaller one? You can finish the job also with these small digital multimeters, but they don't have very much functions, but they have the, the basic for measurement the voltage, for DC voltage, AC voltage, you can check batteries like 1.5 volt or 9 volt, continuity, diode tester and resistance. They are very portable, but they are small, you can wear it in your pocket. But both of them don't have light on the display. These two have lights. Let me show you just to kill the lights. Studio lights. Off. This is the Fluke and this is the OW18E model. Also this model have front light. All right. If you want to check some wires for continuity, you need to select this beeping signal right here and manually select 
that beeping signal and when you short the probes there is continuity it's the same for this one manually select the beeping signal for continuity this one beside the beeping signal it have the light right here all right with some of digital multimeters you will get a temperature probe like this one this is type k you remove the testing probes attach this one right here and select on the temperature mode and you can see that right now it's measuring the temperature is 25 degrees if i hold it the temperature will rise and working like a charm i want to show you about how you can measure current with the digital multimeter first thing that you need to do is to change the positive probe to the 20 amp socket all right and next is to select the cursor to amps and to be set on dc everything is set up here i have a digital power supply that give around 12 volts the probe negative probe from the digital power supply goes on the one wire of the bulb that need to be tested and see how much current is pulling the other positive wire from the power supply goes to the positive probe of the digital multimeter and with the net negative probe i want to touch the the bulb and here it is it's pulling around 300 almost 400 milliampers and it's the same on the digital power supply 397 397 and working and this is the way if you want to check the bulb how much current is pulling let me explain one more time the one wire from the from the power supply goes directly to the bulb the other wire go to the red probe of the digital multimeter and the negative goes to the wire in simple simple words need to current need to to go through the digital multimeter then go to the bulb like a small closed circuit all right in this short presentation for digital multimeters i wanted just to share the basic stuff about digital multimeters and you will ask which one is my favorite i i don't know but i'm mostly i most use it this one because it's portable i can wear it in my pocket i can wear it everywhere the battery is last i don't know so far maybe two years and these are more professional that need to be in the studio but these two you can carry everywhere that was all for today video i hope you like it please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya